Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jeff, the IT guy. Listen, today we're gonna have a thermal paste shootout. That's right, we're taking a look at six, yes, six different thermal pastes and we're gonna see which one is the best. Listen, we've got ranges from cheap to expensive. All right, and we're gonna take a look at all of them and we're gonna see how well they do. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the cooler out. We're gonna put thermal paste on each time, new thermal paste. We're gonna hit it with like Prime 95 or something. And we're just gonna see which one of these has the best chance of keeping your CPU cool. Before we look at the system though, I wanna bring a public service announcement to your attention. 99 or 98% of the viewers on this channel are not subscribed. Listen, I get 15,000 views a month. That's a lot of people that aren't subscribed to this channel. So do me a favor go ahead, hit the subscribe button. That way, my wife will keep letting me do this. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. So do me a favor, please, I'm begging you. Let's go look at the system. All right, so here's the system. Like I said earlier, we've got this uh, cheapo Gamex cooler. Uh, it's just a B450 board. Um, it's got a Ryzen 3 1200 in it. None of the fans are in it. And so when we do our testing, the only airflow this is going to get is really from the fan there's not any other fan i mean the fans are here but they're not plugged in they aren't running and so we're going to run it for 15 minutes of prime 95 we're going to see what the temperature is uh, at the end of 15 minutes and then after prime 95 is done we'll remove we'll record it remove it and we're going to remove the thermal paste with these every time this is the noctua NAC SCW1. These are thermal removal pads, pre-packaged wipes. They're awesome. They'll be linked below as well as all of the thermal paste. All right, so let's get into some science and see how we do. Oh, hey, welcome back. So we hit a little snack. Running it at stock really didn't give us a lot of temperature. It's only hitting about 32 degrees. And so what we've done is we've overclocked it to 3.8 gigahertz, running at 1.425 volts. Wanted to hit 3.9? just wouldn't do it. But it did hit 3.8 and it's running right now. We're also running OCCT instead of Prime 95. We'll talk about that later. But first, let's talk about today's uh, contestants in the Hunger Games of Thermal Paste. So first on the list is Arctic Silver 5. All right, so we've got Arctic Silver 5. Arctic Silver is very known in the Thermal Paste game. Next, we're using Arctic Silver MX4, which is personally what I use uh, pretty much on all of my builds. We're also using Corsairs. Whoops. I'm back. We're also using Corsairs XTM50. This is their extreme thermal paste. We'll see how it does. The Noctua NTH1. Um, we're using this. I've used it before with some Noctua cores. It's not too bad. And then we've got two more contestants. That would be the Corsair TM30. And lastly, we've got Thermal Grizzly uh, Cryonaut. So these are the six contestants in the Thermal Pace Hunger Games. Can't wait to show you the results. Let's get started testing. All right, so here we are after um, 15 minutes of OCCT at 3.8 gigahertz at 1.425 volts. Looks like our max temperature is 62.38 degrees Celsius. And this is with the Arctic Silver 5. Let's see how the MX4 holds up. All right, so our 15 minute run of OCCT with the Arctic MX4 has finished. The results for this, it gave us a max of 61.88 uh, degrees. All right, so we just did the Corsair TM30. Um, we did it for, it's almost 16 minutes on this one. This is a new day, however, so whenever you look at these numbers, this is the first one, it's done in the morning. And as you can see, the minimum value or the ambient value that it started at was actually lower than what it was the other day when we were testing. And so our max here is 60.25 degrees. So we just finished up testing with the Corsair XTM50. This is their extreme thermal paste or thermal material. Um, I will say that it was a little bit, it wasn't as thick as the TM30. Um, however, the minimum temperature that we started out with was lower, and so was the maximum temperature. Okay, so we just finished the Noctua test, and um, 
our maximum, whenever we started out, our maximum uh, or minimum temperature when we started out was 40 degrees Celsius. So it was higher than the other ones. Um, the, like I said, the minimum was when we started this test. And the maximum that we got to was 60.88 degrees. The thermal grizzly test is now over. Uh, after 15 minutes of OCCT, we've seen a max temperature of 59.88, which I do believe is our lowest. All right, so we've looked at all of our thermal paste for 15 minutes of OCCT uh, with the overclocked Ryzen 3 at 3.8 gigahertz at 1.425 volts. Um, it's a lot of voltage. Tried to pump out as much heat as I could just to see how well these would perform. And now it's time to talk about the conclusion and where we actually got with this, this experiment. There's a lot of time that went into this, as you can imagine. Running 15 minutes for each of these, there's six or seven of them. And then the time it takes to clean them, switch the cooler and everything like that. So it took a lot of time. I would love it if you all could give me a subscribe for all the work that went into this to show you all what you should get so that you have the best performance when it comes with your thermal paste. So let's talk about the highs and the lows of each. Then we're gonna talk about the deltas and then the cost per grams and then the conclusion. So for the Arctic Silver 5, um, our max temp after 15 minutes was 62.38 degrees. That was our highest max temperature. Okay, so that was our highest. The Arctic Silver 5 is also the cheapest. So the Arctic Silver 5 is the cheapest, but it's, it had the highest temperatures. The Arctic MX4 had a max temp of 61.8. The TM30 had a max of 60.25. The XTM50 had a max temperature of 60.5. The Noctua had a max temperature of 60.88. And the Thermal Grizzly had a maximum of like 59. Um, the Thermal Grizzly was our lowest maximum temperature, okay? So, it's pretty cool to see. We looked through all of those, um, you know. So, the Thermal Grizzly did the best as far as maximums go. When we start talking about the cost per gram of the Thermal Paste, the Arctic Silver 5 was the cheapest. It's $1.57 per gram. The MX4 is $3.25 per gram, which is our second highest. The uh, TM30 is $2.66 per gram. The XTM50 was $3 per gram, which is our third highest. The Noctua is $2.28 per gram. And the Thermal Grizzly was $3.33 per gram, making it our highest, uh, our highest per gram as far as the cost of Thermal paste goes. And so we can see, um, you know, that we, 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 we've covered all the spectrums as far as like cheap and expensive. Let's talk about the deltas. And so what the delta is, is this is the starting temperature that's subtracted from the maximum temperature. And so we can actually see how many degrees uh, we go from start to finish. And it's just a good way to look at performance as well. Okay, so for the Arctic Silver 5, our delta was 28.24. For the MX4, it was 23.95. For the TM30, it was 31.25. For the XTM50, it was 33.25. Uh, for the Noctua, it was 20.38. And for the Thermal Grizzly, it was 30.25. Um, this really, you know, it just shows that uh, it can take some time for, for heat to transfer. You know, there's a lot that goes into how these deltas work. You know, even though the Thermal Grizzly, you know, it had a 30 degree delta, it still had the lowest temperature. You know, the XTM50, the TM30, they both had above 30, 31 and 33 for their deltas, but they were also some of the best performing uh, thermal paste that we did have. Um, so, you know, the delta is, it doesn't really mean much, I guess, whenever you're looking at this. It also, it could be the time that it takes, you know, for the cooler to, to heat, you know, for, for all, there's all sorts of things that go into it. So let's talk about our conclusion. 
And so here is the conclusion about this. Thermal Grizzly, the Crown Knot, is awesome. It did a great job. It had the lowest temperature, but it is, it is expensive. It's $19 um, for a five and a half gram tube. So it's very expensive. However, it, it did very well. It did a great job at keeping our CPU cool. The Arctic Silver 5, which is dirt cheap, mind you, um, it wasn't that far above the rest. Uh, it's only about two degrees. It's three degrees, three degrees uh, higher than the Thermal Grizzly. So it's three degrees higher and it's about one third the cost. So that kind of makes sense. You know, you pay one third, you get a couple extra degrees, yeah, it is what it is, right? So <clears throat> the Corsair, uh, it did very well. Uh, I was actually quite surprised by the Corsair thermal paste itself. I used it before, didn't really much care for it. Uh, it's, it's not that, it's just very, it's thicker than a lot of the others. Um, and it can actually be, it cures. Uh, the last time I used it, it cured really hard onto a CPU and then trying to get the cooler off, it actually, tore that CPU out of the socket. Um, there's like no way to get it off. It just pfft, straight out of the socket uh, as a AMD processor. And so it cures very, very hard. Uh, I wasn't a fan of that. I've never seen that with the Arctic stuff um, or the Thermal Grizzly. It, it didn't cure as hard. And so that's something you have to look at through the longevity and it could have just been my experience. However, you know, that's what I'm going from is my experience. The Noctua, the Noctua is the star of the show um, in my opinion and the reason for that is because it's one of the cheapest at uh, what I say two dollars and 28 cents per gram so it's one of the cheapest however it had the lowest Delta and the maximum was wasn't that high it was you know within margin of error really uh, compared to the Corsair stuff and the thermal Grizzly and so it's, you know, about a dollar cheaper per gram than the Thermal Grizzly. Uh, the degrees as far as Celsius go, that it goes up, it's within a degree, um, which is in margin of error, in my opinion. And uh, it, it looks great, you know. It, it came off very clean. It did very well. Uh, it wasn't super hard. It had a really great spread. Um, all the Thermal Paste had a great spread. I got, I got a great spread across the CPU. Uh, and so I think that's really the start of the show. It's, it's the, the perform, price to performance king is the Noctua uh, NTH1. So take that as you will or as you may. That's where we landed with this conclusion. And really when it comes down to it, as long as it's not the cheap stuff that comes on, an inter, on a cooler, I think you'll be fine. Um, unless you're really wanting to do as low as temp as you can because you want to push massive overclocking, um, you're going to be fine with any of these options, really. And, you know, unless you, like I said, the Corsair stuff, it cures really hard. So that might be something that you're interested in or not interested in. But when it comes down to it, you're going to be fine choosing any of these. Um, but Thermal Grizzly is the best. You know, it, it's got the lowest temperatures. Um, Arctic Silver 5 is dirt cheap. And the temperatures weren't, you know, like I said, they were about three or four degrees higher than others. Um, but it's the dirt cheapest. Uh, and the Noctua is boom, smack dab in the middle. It's, you know, great price, great performance. It's the star of the show, in my opinion, like I said. But, you know, this is with an air cooler. So maybe uh, if we can get a bunch of likes and subscribes and comments, maybe we'll look at a water cooler and we'll, we'll redo this test again to see which one works best with a water cooler. And so we'll, we'll do all sorts of stuff. And I wanna thank you all for watching. It's been a great time, been a lot of fun doing this. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope this helps you make a decision about uh, which thermal paste you wanna use for your best performance. Stay tuned for more videos. Like I said, um, if we can you know, knock this video out of the park, we'll look at water coolers, uh, at a water cooler and see which thermal paste does the best. We're gonna look at the Ryzen Wraith RGB versus your standard uh, you know, tower heat sink, see which one is the best, you know. The Ryzen one comes with your processor and the other one's about 30 or $35. We're gonna see if there's a difference. Um, so maybe you can save you 30 or 35 bucks. So that would be really cool to look at. We're gonna test it and see how well it performs 
against the entry market competition. Uh, Intel doesn't include uh, heat sinks with their high end parts, so they're out of this, but we're going to look at it for Ryzen. Uh, we've got a lot of great stuff coming on the channel. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos from Jeff the IT Guy. Listen, you all stay safe. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what is your favorite thermal paste, and maybe we can have us a little chat about it. We'll see. We'll do some more tests. Listen, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.